Hi students, welcome back to Anavation. Today we are going to learn 7th English, Term 1, Unit 3, A Prayer to Teacher. Grammar exercise in the video. Let's talk about the video. Already in the lesson, we have book evaluation, that is question answer and detail answers. We have a playlist in the video description box. We will learn it. Let's see the vocabulary, prefix and suffix. The first one, form, that is conform, patriotism, diversity, enslave, inanimate, consumerism, nakedness. Okay, these are the answers. You have to add the prefix and suffix to the following words. Privilege, that is unprivileged, animate, inanimate. Discriminate, discrimination. Okay, discrimination is the suffix level. Empty, emptiness. This is also suffix. Communicate, communication. Learn, learned. Page number 146. You have to listen to the story. You need to answer this. So for, see the first one. Raj was upset as he had done poorly in his English test. His grandmother gave him a pencil. Granny compared Raj with the pencil. Raj's pain of not doing well in the test was compared with sharpening of pencil. Raj understood that failures are the stepping stones of success. Page number 149, you want to fill the proportion. See, this is over. Okay, she is jumping from here to this side. So, this is over. Proportion, what proportion you want to use? Over. Then here, on. The girl is standing on the box. And down from, he is jumping down from. Okay. Then she is jumping onto the box. She is sitting inside the box. And here she is standing in front. And he is sitting between the box. Okay. These are the proportions. Read the following sentence carefully. Underline the proportion. See. Juliana placed her lunchbox inside her bag. Vinodini left the house before sunrise. Ben saw Dicey playing across the road. Hema keeps all her teddy bears on top of her wardrobe. Divya hides the sweet behind her back. Sudha fell over during the basket match. His keys had fallen underneath his chair. Mrs. Mina asked the children to go into the classroom. After lunch, the children were allowed to play. Saran and climbed onto the horse. Now complete the sentence. Appropriate proportion is your mother. At home, the proportion is at home. There is university in diversity among the people. He discussed the problem with his parents. Nitisha was prized by her father. Can you finish the work by tomorrow? He has been absent since last week. H. Fill in the blanks with the same proportion. What do you do during weekends? I am going to the village on Sunday. I haven't met my friend since December. Run to the street and get me the ribbon. He told me in detail about the incident. This picture was drawn by the girl with charcoal. The car was traveling at a great speed. The ball fell into the lake. There is a bridge across the river. The conference will be held from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Fill in the blanks using suitable proportion on your own. Okay. The soldier climbed onto a horse and rode away. Onto is the right proportion. They have been here for a long time. For Kumaravel has lived in this city since 2012. The paper was published in an international journal. When will you return to home? Two. The four students wrote the answers correctly. This fruit is from the Mexican capital. The head office is in Nungambakam. It is at College Road. As you go to the station, the office is at the right side. Okay, in, at, to, at. The sailor was taken to the forest and made to walk for 10 miles. The girl standing beside me was sneezing. 
So these are the proportions. Okay, different. Uh, they had given four Roman letters. So in the proportions, nalla paathe konga different proportions are given here. Here we had completed unit three grammar exercise. In the video, ongluk helpful la andonga friends ko share panenga. Mara kama R N Avishan channel la subscribe panikanga. Thanks for watching our video. Thank you. Have a nice day.